Joy Boys of Radio. We chase electrons to and fro. We are the Joy Boys of Radio. We chase electrons phone, to you know, and fro. Your call, you answer. Oh, watch it, watch it. Well, that's a lot of people have said that over the years, friends. But it is hello there one more time as we uh, we wrap it up after 17 years. We go wrap it right up. This afternoon we're going to try to recap. What are we to deliver it, Mr. Walker? Huh? What are we? Uh, don't worry about we it. Got it. Uh, now, where does it go? I think it's uh, I think it's spoiled. I think it's <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's Arthur Codfish, and here he is, hey. Arthur, the old son of a gun himself, Codfish. Hey. Codfish. Hey. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I think it's wonderful that you're able to come up from the farm today. Did you uh, come in by helicopter, Arthur? Listen, I came in today. I was here to see General Cratch at the Pentagon. Hello. I'm going to go and see Senator Gumpfen, and Hello. then we're going to go over and see the President, and then finally go. we're going to see the Pope this weekend. I, I travel with a good crowd. Is it true, Arthur, that last week, uh, <laughs> is it true that last week you, you had an audience with His Holiness and you were up on the balcony, yes, and uh, one of the people in the crowd down there yelled up, Who's that man on the balcony with Arthur? Smart Ellie. Good thing mutual news is moving to town. You hey, Mr. Catfish, how are you? Carmel Quinn. I'm gonna miss you that I am. Say hello to the Joy Boys and speak to Eddie Walker. Hello say, to the Joy Boys. The dummy, say hello speak to Eddie Walker. Do it like that. Just speak oh, hello, to Eddie. Him. Just hello, want to Carmel. say goodbye hello, to all you nice fellas and remember that Everything this is the today. same station that fired me right about 33 years ago. In the same fine tradition, they said my voice was too raspy. Whatever gave They them told that, Kate yeah. Smith she was overweight and would never make it. Brinkley slipped through as a mutation. They must have missed him. Oh. But good luck to you guys. You dynamites, you got to make it. Thank you, Arthur. You managed to stay here 20 years. It took them a long time to catch on, oh, didn't oh, it? Oh, oh. <laughs> Come on, Arthur. Bye bye, Arthur. There he goes. Who invented the, your act? Who invented the Joy Boys? It happened. Tell them how that. Hey, you, Ed, you were a struggling young actor. Tell That's them. right. I, I started at American University in 1950. And this is the truth. We had a mutual friend named Roger Gordon, and Roger and I started the American University campus radio station. Well, in the spring, or the summer of 1951, a young kid with hair came on the campus who was uh, an aspiring freshman at American University. I've still got the hair if you want me to go get it. No, no, that's not necessary. And his name is Willard Scott, and Roger introduced us. I was on the air at the campus radio station. The first words we ever spoke to one another, believe it or not, was across a microphone. And uh, we've been doing it ever since. We, start, we entertained at fraternity parties, and if anybody swatted a fly, we do 20 minutes. You a know, total of like, how many years? We've been on the air commercially 20 years last May. We started in 1952 in hmm. May. How do you get along? I hate Terrible. it. Terrible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never, never seen him. What's his middle? What's your middle name? For $10, what's my middle name? Herman. Oh, I just lost 10 bucks. <laughs> we love each other. Have you ever had a fight? Never, never had a never. fight. Never had a Isn't fight. Isn't that awful? We've it's had words. You like trying to start it? something now? I mean, yeah, why? It's why? The game. I, know, I think it's very romantic. We've never had a written contract between no. us. We've never had an argument. We've had differences of opinion, uh, but uh, doesn't everybody? And we he always wanted to wear the dress, and that ruined the act, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a great act. No divorce, no That's nothing. We've had a marvelous Yeah, we live like the hippies now, you know? <laughs> they don't have any contracts, so we've, uh, <laughs> we've had the same deal going for 20 years. He picks up my option every five years. Don't tell him everything. The act is going to end at WRC, but is it going to end? We ah, hope not. That's, that that remains to be seen by that vast, great, unknown quantity known as management out there in the industry. Uh -huh. We have a little thing going on. Ah, now, the continuing to the live story as the worm turns. The story of why I have today in a big city hospital and all brought you by Scott. No more. The miracle plastic product of the space age to spray your little children to protect them from other little children. Hmm? It's early afternoon as our story opens in Big City Hospital today. We find ourselves outside of the office of the highly respected throat surgeon, Dr. Clayton Jackson Durante. Dr. Durante was awakened in the middle of the night by a telephone call from a top 40 radio station where the all-night disc jockey had some pleading moments with the doctor. 
The doctor, being true to the medical profession, told him to call back in the morning, which he did. Outside the door now, pacing nervously, fiddling with his cigarette pack, he nervously lights his cigarette. There's a moment as he puffs, thinking to himself, what could this possibly be? Finally, the doctor knocks on the door. Oh, the doctor knocks sorry, on the door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right. Let me try it again, all right? I haven't been here for months. No, I mean, Go ahead. old habits are hard to break. Doctor <laughs> knocks on the door. Ah, forget it. Come on in. And the young DJ, pearly white, speaks. <coughs> Doc? Yeah, what is it, Junior? Dr. Durante? Yeah, that's me, Clayton Jackson Durante. Doctor. <laughs> Come on in and sit down, I Junior. Think I, I am sitting oh, down. You're I'm just a, short, huh, kid? You're <laughs> I've got a million of them, a million of them. Doc, I... Doc, oh, try to get over Doc, there, I needed kid? that. I, 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 I got something that's... Rather... Okay, I think that just about does it for this particular half hour of the Walker Scott thing. been a thrilling Friday half hour. Yeah, I... Stand by. We I have the news coming. Who's doing our yet? news at 2.30? Donald Doak. Don Doak is ready yeah, he's all from NBC in Washington. There are rumblings of discontent among the announcers oh, tonight on NBC radio. <laughs> <laughs> That'll take your FM. And now the news with Don Doak. The Don Doak Show, brought to you by Equitable Savings and Loan Association, where your insured passbook savings earn 5% interest from the day of deposit to the day of withdrawal. Now, here's Don! <laughs> Boy, if we weren't fired, we will be now. How long have you been trying to get him to break up? 20 years. They've been trying to That's get right. him to break up for years, and they finally succeeded. Willard will continue as the weatherman on Channel 4. He'll be wearing his hair. Ed will continue to freelance commercials. Uh, they'll be together for a week in the morning at WWDC next week, uh, but that's a temporary thing. Uh, Willard says they've gotten 2,000 letters. Uh, may, he estimates maybe three to 4,000 phone calls. Yeah, I used to work with them as the newsman yeah. during the show, and they had a thing of uh, they ever making get you? you crack up. Yeah, they got me once. <laughs> <laughs> that was okay. Great. 